Yeah. You know it's automatic. Yeah. Tell Trev leak the hard drive. I'm ever caught in traffic. Caught in traffic. Don't let a label milk my name. Just get my mom to cash this. A new era, same pro, and I want all the static. Want all the static. I've been killing since some tours were static. Yeah. Even before we in the basement and recorded magic. Yeah. Who would've known? They know my name in South Africa. 15 hour flights, I landed and performed these ballads. Yeah. Sparring sessions, but it's never padded. Woke up in Wonderland. Once I followed the white rabbit, I've been running for miles. It's hard to keep my balance. balance. Papa Doc, these other rappers, if I'm ever challenged, baby. Yeah. Battle tested, but it's me who been my hardest. Me again. So. Thank you for all the comments on the wheels. I think we're probably going to go brushed with them. Um, or polished. I don't know. But anyway, back to it. Because we have only got two weeks left. Until we're meant to be taking this to roll hard. Um, might trailer it. But I've never done that before. It's very out of character. But we'll, we shall see. But enough of that. As you've just seen, I have done some cardboard designing. And then cut some bits out of steel. Now, as you've probably guessed, these are the shock towers, or the ram mounts. The reason they've got a weird tag on them is when I cut the subframe out, I went a little oversized um, on purpose. But this means that's how we'll go between the chassis and the thing. It'll slot on there and hold the rams. So. Let's clean the rest of these up and get into the video. This is how I feel because it's hard to show. It's hard to show. Grateful for my past, but got so far to go. So far to go. My heart been on my sleeve. You watch me bleed. I got the scars to show. And we still on this yellow tape, bro. Is there gold at the end of the rainbow? Hey. And we and we still on this yellow tape, bro. Hey. There gold at the end of the rainbow Some people change and I'm not surprised Wishful thoughts when you ignore the signs You authentic with your circle but a fraud in mine You know you crossed the line, your notoriety was never notarized But so it goes, I'll find another side The revolution won't be publicized There's a war outside, but it's internalized Different struggles in these troubled times In like a year, I feel I double mine You know I'm sorry, should've done you right but I've been caught up with this double life. Now then, cleaned them, folded them, and just shaped them a little bit so they fit neat. So what we've got is plate each side. They slot down in between the subframe and the chassis. So that, in my head, gets rid of a bit of stress that way because it's tied down into the chassis and the subframe. They're also flat on the subframe, well the plate I welded, um, I don't know if I ever showed, I think I did quickly, but there's a plate from the chassis to the top of the subframe. Now that gets rid of any, of any of that movement, I mean there shouldn't be any. What we've also done is they're 100 mil at the bottom and go down to 30 at the top for where the ram mounts in. So these folds will also add strength. Now the plan is sheet down here welded to the chassis up there and then the same up on the inside so we're going to have a essentially a box um, which is welded everywhere I, I can't see any way these can bend so I think they'll be meant for the job um, I guess next is to start welding these all on then we will move on to the rear the rear is more of a teardrop shape mount just to go onto the chassis rails we built um, so I guess we will weld these on now, then weld the rears on, and then we need to drill the holes in these. So I actually done these without the holes in, I was going to put the holes in, but I've done it without, so it gives me a bit more play on the ram, um, so I can work out exactly where I want that to sit, because I've got to dodge the arm and the wheel. Uh, so. I can drill them after. And then that is one job off of the list. We will have rams so we can go up and down. Then we need to move on. I think next we will do the pedal box, but that will be in a later part of this video. So for now, enjoy watching me weld these up. Try to taste it, fall. Can't hold our love again. 
tie underneath here like this obviously two and the ram will then bolt to them simple as that the reason I've not just come off of this face and gone underneath is obviously it's, it spreads the load of it um, so when when you hit a bump that will push against this face whoop, and when that pulls down that will then transfer it onto the bottom face if that makes any sort of sense so yeah, the, the rear is pretty simple. Um, I, I may put a plate round the top, but I might not. I will weigh that up as I come. Right, it's a new day. I welded the towers on the front. I've not completely finished them, but I'm gonna skip back to them when I actually come to mount the rams, and I'll, I'll go over them a little bit more. But for now, I need to get all this metal work done in the next day or so. So, I've got to make a firewall. So this is, is pretty much, I've just made these panels up. That's just a simple flat bend bend. And I'm gonna weld it in and build the tunnel off of that. Um, I've also changed the floor for the pedal box. So the floor will actually drop down lower. And this will replace the original tintware and the pedals will sit in there. I'll just put them at a better angle and then I'm gonna have one of those, a bit like they have in rally cars and that. Uh, like a, I suppose like a floor extension just to get my feet up to a nicer position. But next I'm gonna make the back half of the tunnel, I think, and then you see this section and this section, and then we've got to do the rear metal work. So I will follow myself around with the GoPro and show you what I get up to. But for now, I've got a lot to do. So, let's go. Right, I need to apologize first because I brought the wrong SD card for the GoPro, so I thought I was doing better and I've actually done worse. So. I filmed a load of stuff and none of it is on the card. Um, so sorry about that. I said I'd try and get more time lapses of as I was doing stuff and I've done the complete opposite, but I have made that tunnel section. Obviously the front firewall I think was in the last successful clip I've got. And then I've made this is the next part of the tunnel. Obviously it gets, gets wider as it goes up that way and taller as it goes up. That will that will finish that gap between this part of the tunnel and that. Um, the reason I've got no bead rolls or anything in it is because I want to make, I've had this idea for, well, it's not my idea, but for years I've always seen people put separate panels on top of metalwork and I've always thought it looked cool. And obviously we've got access to that CNC plasma, so it made more sense when I do it, but basically I needed as many flat surfaces as I could on there and then we'll bolt probably three mil plate on top with the pattern cutting up. Um, so like the tunnel would be black and then I could do whatever colour I pick for an accent. You can then do, you know, copper, 
panels or whatever on top should make sense when I do it. But for now, because it's it's really humid today, so I'm going to try and put off the welding until the morning. Um, so what I'll probably do is fettle all them panels and get them tacked in. But what I'm going to do first is cut out this section. You can see the lines both sides. I'm going to cut that section straight out because um, I believe I can, I can fit the fuel tank in there. So I'm going to cut them out, see if I can fit the tank. Because if I can, that will obviously change this rear seat metalwork. So I'm going to try and do that, cut that out first. And then from there, we can then see if the tank fits. If it does, we can go about making the panels for this rear seat section. So I think the plan for the rest of the day is to try and get all of them panels made um, and try and get everything tacked in from front to back because then I can come in when it's colder in the morning. I'll come in early and, and weld it all up. And then the actual metalwork on the body is done then. Yes, I think it is. So that'll all be done. Um, then the body can lift off. I can finish welding everything on the chassis. At which point I'll go over the chassis and show all the stuff we've done in case there's anything that I've missed. Um, Underseal the body, paint the chassis, run the brake lines and things, drop the body back on. Obviously we've only got five, six, six days, I think seven days, until roll hard where I want to use this. So there's a lot to do. So with that being said, I better get on. So, with a little bit of cutting, we have a giant hole. Now, you might be wondering why I'm using the Mazda tank, and that is because I know it works. And although I've spent a bit of money, I'm trying to save as much as possible. So it just seemed like the best, cheapest option. Plus, when we go for the turbo, I can buy a pump for this tank that I know just bolts in and works. It's obviously a sealed, well, they're all sealed, but it's a sealed unit. Um, I think what the plan now is going to be make a sheet, cut a sheet the right width, right? And I'm going to attempt to fold it there, come along, fold down, go along, and marry up with the bottom down here. So it's going to be a full width of a sheet, 1250, and about 80, 80, 890, something like that, 850 wide. Um, which is as wide as we can get in our crap little folder and I'm going to attempt to do all the folds in it in one go so it'll be one continuous sheet from front to back so I will join you back here in one moment maybe with a successful panel but probably with a big old bit of scrap I'm so knackered but let's get it done it actually worked surprised so that is now the petrol tank hole, the rear seat area. I've obviously got to make like the sides for this. It'll weld on down there. And I've got to do the angled bits on the top of the tubs. And obviously you've got to weld the tunnel in, the pedal box bit, but 90% of the panel work is, is done now. I'm gonna go home and edit this because if not, I'll have a load to edit at one go, so I'll do it in bits. And tomorrow, we've got to weld it in. I need all the sheet metal work done tomorrow to stay on the, stay on track. Um, then I've got to take the body off so I can underseal it all and actually weld up all the other bits, like these shock towers. You can see, obviously I need to put a top on them, I need to put the inside on, but I need the wheels off for that. Um, the wheels are done now. I forgot to I forgot to show them earlier on. They've been back here all most of the week. Um, pedal box, yeah. So still lots to do, but I am quietly confident that next weekend we could drive this. But see you in the morning. So. It's actually not the next evening, but it's the day after that. And as you can see, the car has gone for its MOT. Obviously not. 
it's there. So, what has been happening? Well, I've been getting on with the metalwork. I haven't filmed a great deal because it's very samey, samey. But, we've got the, I'll start here, look. Got this pedal, the section welded in for the pedal box, firewall, tunnel. I explained in the last one why there's no bead rolling in this, so I was gonna put panels on top of it. We've got the rear, hang on. We've got the rear section all in for the, where the fuel tank's gonna go. I've just got one more tub to do that side and the sheet metal work is done. Then the plan is to lift the body off, make sure everything's good underneath and then seal the underneath. I've got a few bits to do on the chassis. Um, still got to put my gussets in. And then bolt the two back together for the final time. Now other things have also been happening. The, this is all that's left of the seat and the material. Uh, ages and ages ago in a video I put up that they had been kind of eaten. Um, so I decided to replace it with foam. So I basically just want to keep the material. Um, there's a bit of a going on outside. Uh, Freya and Jane have sorted my seats out for me. Um, they're clean, dim and conditioned. Might be the technical term. So they're now, oof. they're now good to go. I've just obviously got to do the foam for the rear. Now we're running the Mazda fuel tank, so that'll just slot in. We can use the original pump. Um, pedal box has got to go in, but that's obviously when the body's back together. The wheels went for brushed in the end. Um, so I brushed them and just put a a thin layer of lacquer on them just to stop them going too quick but the parts for them should arrive Monday uh, along with the rest of the hydraulic stuff so it's full steam ahead now I am gonna end this one here because it's now Saturday evening and I'll put this up for tomorrow next week's video will be better than this one because I'll have a bit more time I've obviously got to do the wiring um hydraulics getting everything working it'll actually be a, a better video this one's been a bit of a there's only so many angles of me cutting a bit of steel i can put up um but for those that are interested i will do a full run through video so not the one out next sunday the one after i'll do a full run through on the car of what's been done stage by stage um and i will also Go, yeah, I'll just go through each part and then I'll also do what plans there are going forward because just because the car might be getting done doesn't mean it's ever going to be done. As we all know, they just keep going, don't they? Um, so, next week's video. Now, I want to take the car to Roll Hard on Sunday. So next week's video, I'm going to finish editing on the Saturday night and I'll put it up for the Sunday morning. So no one's really gonna know if I get the car finished until you either see a picture of it on the internet in Vista, or you see me crying on a video on Sunday morning. So I think that's how we're gonna play it. Um, like I say, it's a bit annoying how fast paced these have been because I haven't been able to make as good of a video as I'd like to because obviously I've got so much to get on with, but going forward after Roll Hard, when you know next week's video, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna make an effort to film a lot more, um, and then going forward from there, we'll go back to actually being able to film stuff. I'm not an explanation channel because I don't know that much myself. Um, but as always, thank you for watching. Comment on this one if you think I'm gonna make it to Roll Hard or not, because it'd be interesting to see the general consensus. Because there's still a lot to do. Um, like the video, subscribe if you don't, because not that many of you actually do who watch these and thank you for watching i will see you hopefully not crying next sunday goodbye <laughs>
know it's automatic yeah. Tell Trev leak the hard drive, I'm ever caught in traffic caught in Don't traffic. let a label milk my name, just get my mom to cash this A new era, same pro and I want all the static, want all the static. I've been killing since some tours with static yeah. Even before we in the basement and recorded magic yeah. Who would've known, they know my name is South Africa 15 hour flights, I land in and perform these ballads hey. 